video and in this video we are going to look at the sheet of paper that has caused me the most problems to make in my 10 years of folding um, and maybe like 8 years of making my own paper but this sheet of paper right here. Now this is for my friend Fishy's mosquito design which I will then embed in yellow amber resin to have that really cool unique look effect. I have mentioned this quite a few times over the past but I'm really excited to see how this fully turns out which is 4GSM, this paper. Um, I have made the grid so far, I just need to add the final pieces. But why was this paper the hardest to make? Why not a sheet that is much larger, much more colourful the sheets I have made in the past? Um, so it all goes towards this paper, which is for GSM. At the time, um, I had, I knew how to colour it, <coughs> I knew how to treat it, I knew how to do everything, but I didn't know the side effects that this paper would have after you treat the paper. The reason that this paper was the hardest to make for me is because when you treat the paper, and then when it dries and then when you peel it off what happens is the heat from either your hands, the humidity of your home, wherever you live, it will warp the paper. So a simple holding it like this, the heat generating up between these fingers will cause the paper to warp. That is one of the most annoying things with working with uh, 4 GSM paper. Now I'm not sure if this happens with other 4 GSM types, different, different um, fibres uh, etc but with this one it happens a lot. For every sheet I have made and test folded that has always been a big problem. Now on the screen um, I have a picture, two pictures on the left hand side the picture is of this paper that I think it was a few days after I made it because the thing with this paper is you need to let it air dry so the shiny side may be one of the reasons why it absorbs um, heat and then it warps really badly so I let it air dry for a few days I brought it downstairs and I took pictures of it on the table and I couldn't work with it then because if I just touched it, it would warp. I couldn't fold a grid, otherwise it would be like sand dunes. It would be all over the place after I made the grid and it wouldn't work. So I had to let it air dry much longer um, in order to try and get it to not warp when I touch it, which it finally worked. It just took some time. So I creased this paper um, when was it? Yeah, about four days ago, I made the grid. Oh yeah, also the picture on the right hand side is of when I came back to this after I let it air dry. So nearly a month later, after I took the pictures on the left hand side, um, that's what it looks like on the right. So you can see the difference to how this paper reacts to heat over time. Now this was kept in a cool place. It was kept in between the pressure of lots of other paper on top of it because that idea came to me that it shouldn't warp if it's got so much pressure being applied down onto it that there shouldn't be any room for warping but of course that didn't happen it still warped slightly so I was quite shocked that that, that happened um, when I went to get the paper the other day just to pre-crease the grid but I realised that once I cut the square, I took some of the scraps off the end and I just gently press it together and then the heat made the warmness go away, which was actually really nice. So you'll see a comparison picture of when I came back to after a few days to after I made the grid. So hopefully you can see the difference quite well. 
and this is, I believe it's two layers of 4GSM, so eight layers, and you can get this in eight layers, and not all the layers have been glued, this was just a test to see how thin I could get it, and it's quite crazy, this paper. I'm so looking forward to seeing how this turns out with this mosquito, because I have the perfect sheet of lip shape made, and um, not directly for this, I was looking through all the paper I had and in my Lupji collection I had a nice sheet but I don't think I could get it this thin and I wanted to get it this thin so I had to figure out how to use this paper. Uh, I had to use this paper for this model. Now I won't be using the shiny side, I will be using um, the non shiny side. Oh, you will also have pictures as well at the end of the video to show it uh, better, better off because it's quite tricky to see from this angle because it looks quite warped when in fact that is actually not, it's a lot smoother and a lot more foldable. So yeah, that is basically it everyone, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video.